Hello everybody. Uh, this this video is a little different for me. Um, as you can tell by the username, I usually do uh, uh, knife videos for the most part. I am a knife collector. Uh, I've also somewhat become a uh, flashlight collector. It kind of snuck up on me uh, and before I realized it, I had uh, way too many flashlights. So my my favorite uh, flashlight company would have to be Zebra Light. Um, they're just so unique. They're reasonably priced. Uh, the u the user interface is is excellent. Um, it uses a push button switch. Uh, this is these are two zebra lights here, and this is the SC51, which is a very popular light. Uses a single double A. This happens to be a and a loop double A, and. Uh, puts out this is a neutral white version so um, it'll have a warmer color uh, but it put out around 200 lumens in the cool white version and it had three main levels and then each of the main levels has a, a, a secondary selection um, so in this light I think there was a total including uh, the strobe function of three four about eight levels if, if my calculations are correct orange peel reflector this one's got an XPG if I remember correctly um, and I carried this flashlight for a long time um, one of the big things that people didn't like was the fact that this button isn't very um, it's it's fairly easily activated um, in your pocket and you can fix that by uh, just slightly unscrewing the tail cap which will break the connection and make it so that you don't uh, you know the light doesn't come on in your pocket which did happen to me a couple times and you'll know it because your pocket will be very hot real nice pocket clip here screwed on pocket clip uh, which is the way to go especially for us knife guys you know everybody loves the screwed on pocket clip you can see these nice cooling uh, fins here cut into the head um, and it was just a great light I, I, I love this light um, they have recently released the SC52 which is a direct replacement for the SC51 uh, this is a cool white version um, but you can see that their machining is just uh, spectacular um, the cooling fins aren't as deep on this one and I assume that's because they there's less space um, you can see the head is bigger overall the light is actually just a little bit smaller um, this has an XML in it again orange peel reflector if we can get this to focus there we go XML so it's got a bigger emitter in it which will give you a floodier beam and this is the cool white version again three main levels you can tell that the bright is much brighter on the SC52 um, with a 14500 battery which is a, a lithium ion battery and which is what I have in here at this time this is a zebra light 14500 battery um, this thing will put out 500 lumens um, for one minute before it steps down and if you want to get to that 500 again after it steps down just turn it off and turn it back on um, see a nice little touch here on the bottom they've got this nice little uh, uh, machined uh, recess there machine very very cleanly some people are gonna like this and some people won't I do find it does help with grip a little bit I mean this is a small light if you look here to be putting out 500 lumens uh, it's a small flashlight um, the beam is is very nice on this there's no rings or anything um, just to compare this to some of its competitors this is a jet beam RRT 01 
you can see the SC52 is slightly smaller. Uh, both have XML. This is a smooth reflector, so you'll get a, a more ringy beam. Um, this one uses a magnetic control ring, and it's infinitely variable. So as you turn it up, it gets brighter and brighter. And you can see this puts out, it's rated at 550. Um, this uses a 16340 or a CR123. Or it'll also fit this battery, which is a 18350, basically a shorter version of a 18650. Um, the nice thing about the Zebra Light is the fact that it uses this 14500 uh, battery. So this battery it will definitely last longer. This is rated at 700 milliamps. This is 840. Um, there's a lot that goes into batteries. This is an IMR battery. Uh, this was really probably designed around a 16340, um, which is also a 3.7 volt battery. Um, basically, um, it, it's a little bit small. Actually, I'm going to have one right here. And when you start comparing the 16340 to the 18 or the 14500. Um, this is rated at 750 milliamps, but it's really going to be down around 550 probably. So the point is um, that this this little zebra light, the fact that it uses a 14500 is is quite an advantage um, as far as uh, battery, you know, battery life. Um, 18350 is going to be the next best thing. Um, oops the wrong head on the wrong body and then another competitor would be this uh, this is a Sunway man again uses the variable control ring this is a V11R does have a clicky switch and this is a neutral version but so it won't get quite as bright as the the jet beam but this is fairly standard for a 16340 flashlight. You can see that this zebra light is, is substantially smaller and thinner. You know, uh, the diameter is smaller. And remember, this 14500 battery is going to definitely outlast a uh, 16340 battery. This one's got an orange peel reflector, too. But it can't, it, it's still. Uh, doesn't compare to this zebra light. The the gentleman, his name is George, who designs these zebra lights, is is an amazing uh, engineer. I guess you would call him. There's no artifacts in this beam, no rings at all. Uh, zebra lights always have excellent, excellent beam pattern. Um, whereas even though this Sunway man has an orange peel reflector, it does have some rings. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it in the video, but you can take my word for it. There is, there are rings in the beam. Uh, if I were to, uh, oh, one more thing. The uh, this the UI of the zebra light is as close as you're going to get to a magnetic control ring as far as levels. This this light has 11 levels all told, and the lowest low is very low. You can see it's actually on right there. Um, and then maximum. Um, so 11 levels all together including strobe. Uh, that's as close as you're going to get in my opinion to the magnetic control ring. Um, and some people will like one over the other. Um, but the, uh, the last thing I was going to say is that uh, zebra light being a knife collector, I've always considered Zebra Light to be kind of the, the spider co of, of flashlights. I, I think they just get a lot of things right. They don't get near as much attention as uh, some of the other brands, but um, they're, they're, they're my favorite by far, at least at this point. Um, I probably have uh, a dozen of these uh, Zebra Lights. Um, this is another one you guys should check out. This is a SC600. You can either get the neutral or the cool white version.
Um, but that's another video. In this one, I just wanted to show this uh, very cool new light from Zebra Light. Um, they, they've fixed all the issues that were present in the SC51, including, you know, uh, this this wasn't didn't support 14500 batteries, which are the lithium rechargeable. And the biggest one was the the switch. You can see now that the the switch in the SC52 is much more uh, recessed, so that you're not going to get acti accidental activation with this like you did with this. So no reason to lock out the tail cap by turning it. You know. Um, one last thing I'll show you before I end this is hopefully you can see in here they've. Uh, they really sealed the tube you see that very clean uh, all the new zebra lights are like this uh, I've got a H502 with the same design everything's sealed down in there um, really just an impressive uh, just an impressive flashlight one last thing sorry I keep doing that but um, this also has a battery indicator if you click the button four times quickly it'll flash now that time it flashed two times as you saw it'll flash up to four times depending the battery life that's left so right now this battery is down to about uh, you know half power so that's that's a really cool feature in my opinion so they packed a lot of features into this little light and I'm uh, very impressed with it and I can highly recommend it. So, um, thanks for watching everybody. Um, I appreciate uh, any comments, you know, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video.